video, I'm going to show you how to prepare a sample of filtered water to use in rinsing our equipment for the Florida Microplastic Awareness Project. We're going to need our two-part filter funnel, which unscrews. The lower part is going to attach to our one liter Erlenmeyer flask. And we're going to need a piece of filter paper. The filter paper comes packaged individually. We need to peel off the plastic covering. And you'll find that there is a piece of filter paper that is covered with a thin piece of paper. It looks a bit like tissue paper. You want to remove that piece of paper and discard it. Otherwise, you'll find that nothing comes through your filter. The filter paper itself is the part with the grid lines. We're going to place that on the base of the filter funnel so that the grid lines are facing up. We then take the top part of the filter funnel, position it so that it drops down and give it a little twist to lock it in place. We're going to attach our vacuum pump. In this case I'm using a hand vacuum pump to the flask. And we're going to take a sample of water. Tap water is fine. And we're going to fill our flask completely, our funnel completely with that water. We're now going to apply vacuum pressure using our hand vacuum pump. And it's a good idea to keep your hand on the flask just to steady it a little bit as the water is filtering through. Once we've filtered one flask's worth of water, we're going to go ahead and just detach the filter flask. If you need to, you can release the vacuum pressure from the vacuum pump by separating the hose. Remove the flask, set it aside, and then we're going to take the water that's in the Erlenmeyer. We're going to swirl it around. We want to try and get all the sides covered. We're essentially performing our first rinse of the Erlenmeyer flask. We put our filter back on, reattach our vacuum, and we're going to do this two more times. Once we have run three sets of water, through the filter and use them to rinse our flask, we're ready to collect a, a final sample of filtered water that will go into a squirt bottle that we will use in rinsing our equipment throughout the rest of the project. So once again, we're going to take our tap water, we're going to pour it into the flask, and we're going to filter it through. But this time, instead of discarding what ends up in our Erlenmeyer flask, we're going to be pouring it into the squirt bottle that's labeled as 0.45 micron filtered water.